I think the slag singularity is uh, detonating a little bit too late to slag a lot of the enemies. So I'm going to switch back to the magic missile for now. So what other weapons do we have, just out of interest? Oh, I haven't upgraded my top near yet either. We now have a flame. No P7 top near we can be using. Oh, I forgot about that. Conference core to low level without the B shield, not that useful. What do we have for SMGs here? We do have a shock uh, bone shredder. I think I'm still just better off with the uh, Hellfire here. Although Lasco might be quite quite useful. See, these guys scared me. These guys aggroed on me. Here we go with the magic missile here. I think it's a little bit more useful than the uh, slag singularity here. I keep track of how many forces I have left to kill. I hit myself there with that magic missile. Probably be an enforcer down here at this point. Okay, we're done. Ammo looks okay. Don't re don't really need to upgrade the ammo. Every pass through. Looks like the enforcers are spawning at the top. down the bottom. Keep moving, keep looking for these enforcers, there's one. Be another one spawning up the top, probably. You're going down. Who's the last one? There he is. in how about that I 
We'll gather, we'll gather up these tokens, see how many tall tokens we have now. I think this guy's still aggroed on me. I guess we're doing, I guess we're starting this one. You don't really need to slag. Just the bigger enemies, the enforcers and the uh, engineers. there but I choose chose to use the phase lock anyway. Where is this other enforcer? Maybe he ventured out this way, there he is. Wondering where that last one was. Let's clear out these enemies and we can go ahead and pick up the tokens we have. Pick up the tokens and the iridium. What are you looking at? You won't use this. Farewell. That was the last enemy there. There's some tokens down the bottom. We'll get these ones up top first. Generally I don't kill the enforcers down the bottom section. Guess I must have killed some. At least one anyway. Oh, I missed a few in the corner. Well, I think that's about it. I've done one lap all around. Let's turn this in and see how many tokens we have now. Two hundred seventy-two. So I think we need like six hundred. Yeah, 613 to get anything. Let me know if anything catches your eye. You're my million customer. Don't let it go to you. Come back anytime. I wonder what the infinity is like. I can't imagine it would be better than the Hellfire.
Oh, it doesn't seem too bad. Maybe a little bit slower. I thought I'd try the in infinity here. Is it on, on level one, so I thought I'll see how it goes. There's actually a force around this corner. Just a bone crusher. Sometimes the bone crushers can look like look like the enforcers. Okay, that was the last one. Keep trying to reload the uh, infinity just out of habit. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about ammo if I'm using the infinity. I can just go back and forth. That sounds like an enforcer shooting a. Launcher, I guess. I'll leave those guys, just focus on the enforcers here. Russia. I don't think it's What's the difference in damage here? 404,000. Well, the Infinity is doing 800,000 damage, so it's substantially more than the Hellfire here. So I was expecting the, in, expecting the Infinity to be uh, weaker than that, actually. So it's not too bad. Forces downstairs. Good one. Another enforcer down the bottom. Two. Three.
that one's turned in. Ready to turn in. Seems weaker than the Hellfire. I don't know if it's just my imagination, but it seems a little the Infinity seems a little bit weaker than the Hellfire. Maybe with well, yeah, with the Cat Class mod you're getting another bonus hundred percent damage with the Hellfire, I guess. Rat was too busy trying to loot around me. Another enforcer. Trying to backpedal from that uh, architect and just ended up walking on his head. Another enforcer. Still one left. There he is. Enforcer was. I guess that other engineer must have been from the previous round. Rats are probably the, the weakest enemies here. Don't really need to bother slagging them. I think the enforcers are over here. There's two here. So you can get the job done with this infinity, similar to the Hellfire. Just out of curiosity, I'll use the Hellfire this time. Just to see which one feels more powerful. Say the health boy does feel a little bit more powerful than the infinity. Oh, 
thought that was a uh, enforcer there. Sometimes it's uh, tricky to tell the difference between the bone crushers and the enforcers. There's one. Let's try the Infinity. If I switch back and forth between the Infinity and the uh, Hellfire, I probably won't have to even buy ammo. I think I blew myself up with that grenade there. So it looks like the enforcers have started spawning on the top section. Enforcer there. I saw, saw this guy spawning just out of the corner of my eye. So there's one around the corner here. Yes. Two. Spawning in just at the bottom. It's clearly the enemies out from below. We're kind of blocking the uh, exit there. Generally, it's the engineers that seem to uh, survive the longest. So that's probably how the tokens get down onto the front lower section is that the uh, the rats are looting the tokens and then um, taking them down to the other section. See the infinity symbol getting traced out by the uh, infinity gun there. Not so obvious up close. But when you're leisurely shooting at something from a long distance and you can really see it. See if there's any more enforcers back here. I thought it was the enforcers that were shooting the rockets, but it looks like it's the engineers that are. I think the magic missile is the most useful for slagging here. Oh, 
Fußes. There's one. There has to be a ton of enforcers on this second second story here. I think it is the en engineers that can knock you back. That's why I seem to get stuck on the floor there. I wasn't really stuck, there was just an engineer doing his pummel attack on the floor. Forces down there, there's one. Has to be one on this this level. Gotcha. Where is the other one? Unless I missed it. Oh, there it is. Sometimes it's tricky to find that last one. down the bottom. Lagged. Trying to shoot that uh, rat behind. Let's go ahead and pick up all of these tokens.
One more enemy above. Face looking behind that railing. So now I can pick up all of these at my leisure. So I think that's the that's why some of these tokens were appearing down the bottom here. I think the rats were picking them up, then getting killed out in front here. Because the enforcers hardly ever wander out the front there. And they're the only ones that drop the tokens. Fantastic. There's a ton of tokens around here, so we've got 500. Bunch of iridium too. There's a little bit on the steps here as well. So I think that's it. I think we've done a full lap around. So it might be good just to save quit here, just to clear out all of this stuff, all of this junk on the ground. So we're getting close now, we were 500 something, 541, and we need 613 to buy a legendary from the talk shops. of enforcers here. Probably one enforcer up here by now. Must be one over here. Are there, or we haven't. Uh, why do we have a different mission? Which one do we want? Why is my mission different? Oh, that's why. Uh, probably either. I'd like to get a um, Harold and a Kerr Blaster, I think. I tried using the Flacker, but I couldn't really get the hang of the range with the Flacker. Couldn't really get a good use out of the Flacker. So I think the best things, the best things I can find in the shops are the uh, the Harold and the Kerr Blaster. So I'll probably go for those.
One more enforcer here. Still one more enforcer around somewhere. Here he is. Here we go. Solid picks here. The flacker is weird. It's also one of those guns that when shot and you quickly swap to an RPG such as Nukem, all flacker pellets get the Nukem damage. Yeah, I was trying to do that, but I couldn't get the hang of it. I could never pull off that move, shooting the flacker and then switching to a launcher. I could never do it. I guess you, you must have to do it really fast. Oh, my doesn't have the swap speed for it, right. So do, you do have to do it really fast. How many points do we have? 581. Okay, so you need a character with a fast swap speed. Horses must be all upstairs. Where are they all? There's one. I slagged that in four, so we didn't quite get there. Another one. This is probably the one that I slagged. So anyone that isn't Maya, basically. Right. So Maya has the slowest swap speed. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Maya's got the slowest swap speed. for the first enforcer. Probably back down here, there's one. Interesting, seems like he was close enough. Close enough to the phase lock, but I guess not.
Okay, so that's all of those. Six hundred bullets plus the infinity should be enough to get through here. Looks like the enforcers don't actually spawn in straight away. You have to wait a few seconds before you get one. Maybe you have to even kill a few enemies before you get one. There's one. So let's keep count of how many enforcers we're actually killing. So there's two here. So that's three. I think that's four. Is that one there? No. There's one there, so this will be five. So maybe you've got to kill five enforcers. Well, that's a pretty nice mission reward. At least you get 20. Six forty-one. So that's enough to get something. Oh, this guy snuck out. Let's just pick up the uh, tokens on the ground here. No reason to let these ones go to waste. One enforcer on the bottom section. There's one over here. So there might be three so far. And that's four, so one more. Oh no, I did kill this guy. And now I might be one more. Oh no, we got it. So let's clear out these guys and pick up the tokens. So uh, for the Harold Koblaster, since we spend 600 tokens of parts, should be good at least. Yeah, we can be f yeah we can be fussy now that we uh, we are shopping in the in the tool shop. So I guess we can keep farming until we get twelve hundred because we we're going to need twelve hundred hundred eventually anyway. But yeah, that's right. We don't have to settle for anything mediocre. Anything uh, mediocre, we can we can be fussy. Not too fussy, but. Uh, We've got an opportunity to uh, look around for something nice. P 
pick up these ones. You might have to check the reference sheet to see what grip prefix site accessory you want. Yeah, that might be might be worth doing just so I don't uh, spend my money on something that's not not quite good enough. Yeah, that's a good idea. First enforcer. One. this particular particular guy was not snagged Let's see if we have another enforcer around the corner I think we do yeah thing reads a bit like some sort of a school paper. Let's have a look. Let's see what we have here. Borderlands 2 Ultimate Parts Prefix Guide. Okay, so it goes through all the barrels and grips. Okay, and it tells you what they are, it tells you what they do. Okay, so there's positives and negatives. Plus weapon damage, minus fire rate. Okay, so Meliwand is like neutral and just has a positive. Scopes. Okay, so this really lays everything out. So it's got pictures. So it's got nice pictures for everything. That's good. And shield pass. Oh, that's it. That's goes through everything there. Thank you, Squiggy. That's a, that'll be very useful. Yeah, that's one thing I don't really know is all the different weapon parts. So it would be good to get an appreciation of that before I spend my Torg tokens. Bandits retreating! 
but it lists all parts for all weapon types and also gives pictures so one can quickly check for parts on their guns. And it does make it useful. Because sometimes if you're just reading a text description of what the parts look like or Enough. what style they are, sometimes it can be a bit hard to tell them apart. Another burn crusher here. No, oh, there isn't a force here. I'll save my phase lock for the next enforcer. I've got two down here, very nice. So that's three. Four, so we probably need one more. Sounds like there might be one down this way. Where is this final one? Must be up above. There he is. Some engineers shooting their rockets at me from behind. Yeah, that's the thing I learned parts with. I would pick up a gun, see what grip it has, for example, then try to recognize that grip on other drops. The grip makes the most difference since you also get the matching grip bonus, reload mag size and whatnot. Stop is more for recoil. Barrel is defining the gun type depending on the manufacturer. Rake Hill Sniper has a Vladoff barrel, therefore a higher rate of fire rate than a Snyder. Right. Yeah, and, and once you know the parts, you'll be able to get an idea what you're dealing with at a glance by just looking at the parts. So it certainly would be a useful skill to have. Well, this guy's got a launcher. our first enforcer here. Got another enforcer down here. Running around the corner. I'll try to save my uh, phase lock if I can. Another enforcer. I assume there's an enforcer around the back side here. Generally, if you can't find one at the top section or down the bottom then they're over on the side bit under the stairs so once you figure out where the uh, enforcers spawn from you don't have to check the whole bar there's just this this little area on this side where they're spawning from
there's our first enforcer. As for the Herald, it's generally preferable to get to get either hard or intense prefix. These guys just keep getting running through. Matching or Vladoff grip. It just kind of depends on what vibe you vibe the bet with. Yeah, I guess you can pick, start to pick parts based on what's your uh, preference, what's your natural preference. You've also heard of the famous, you should get a double penetrating Harold. Yes, I have heard of that. And I have found one. I have found one before. But I guess the trade-off is the accuracy and it eats twice as much ammo. Whereas a matching grip double pen Harold has lots of damage but no fire rate. Less than two. Right. Lots of damage, no fire rate. So I guess it's more of a closer range weapon. Is there another one? No, just those two there. It's 
more of a Salvador weapon, right. So better with Salvador. So we still have 500 bullets there, don't really need to up, uh, really need to re, re up with ammo yet. I'll take a quick break and I'll be right back. I guess I should be using the uh, infinity here with the sheriff's badge. So pistol damage plus 22%, fire rate plus 52%, that's a lot. And also increase fight for your lifetime. So you get a, does that give you a 15% health boost as well, does it? Okay, I didn't notice that before for the Sheriff's Badge, you get a health boost as well. That's a substantial fire rate bonus, isn't it? 50% to 2%. That's really fast once you have the uh, phase lock on. Fire rate bonus there. So we got a lot of enforcers that time. Oh, that makes the uh, infinity pistol very nice to use with the sheriff's badge there. Then you have the nice fire rate and the infinite ammo. Very nice. Can't see any forces yet. Maybe one upstairs here. Here's one. for that enforcer, so aiming for the other enemy there, the uh, bone crusher that was there, ended up getting the enforcer anyway. Seems not like a nice weapon to use for the bar brawls. The forces here. See if there's any more enforcers down this way. Looks like there's one.
So this infinity is like a, probably more convenient to use now than the hellfire. Once you're using the uh, infinity with the sheriff's badge. Looks like that engineer was resisting corrosion. see the, the inaccuracy of the infinity once you get up to even that medium range. There is the other enforcer. There's one. Let's clear out these enemies and pick up what tokens we have here. Should have a decent haul of tokens here. And we probably have a decent amount of iridium too. There's been a ton of iridium we've been picking up as well. Like there, another four. Another four stack of iridium for us. So that might be it. Oh no, we haven't gone through the upper level yet. So I think that's it. We ended up with 915 tokens. So that's pretty good. If we want to get two legendaries from the Torg shop, we'll need about like 1,200. They're 613 each. Got a flacker here, 613. So we'll need 1,200. There probably is some Torg skins as well, but I don't want to spend tokens on the skins. But that might be a good spot to end it for now. We'll continue farming for Torg tokens next time. I do like the Infinity along with the Sheriff's Badge. It's a nice combination, so we'll continue using that, the Infinity and the Sheriff's Badge. And we'll pick up the other tokens we need. We have 900, so we need another 300 or so. Thank you for hanging out, Squiggy. And thank you for that, uh, that uh, document with the uh, parts on it. 
that'll be very useful when it comes time to buy some stuff. So I'll keep hold of that. And next time we'll continue farming for the rest of the tokens. So thanks for hanging out and I'll see you next time.